Hi guys. This is the back axle and motor out of one of my radio controlled cars. Been laying on the desk here for a while when I was doing some other project. And I was just wondering if I can make it into one of those rubber band powered spinner things where the wheels go in opposite directions and it just spins round on the spot. Found this bit of plastic tubing. Uh, originally it was one of those pretty flashing light child's uh, wands, which is irrelevant. It's just a nice piece of hard plastic tubing. So I'm going to take the wheels off and put them on either end of here with some sort of bearing at one end so it will actually spin freely. And see if we can make a spinner. Because spinner has a different meaning nowadays, isn't it? Because of those fidget spinners. Nothing to do with a fidget spinner. This is just to spin round on the spot. Just a rubber band powered novelty. Cool, just looking at those wires there. Can you see that? Looks like we had a bit of an overheat problem there. That's the conductors. Insulation's burnt right out. Hmm. Right. I don't want that in there. come out for some reason. your problem. Right, so well, it looks like that will fit over there quite nicely. In fact, I wonder if that will work without me doing any special bearing. That will be convenient if that spins on there well enough. Need to feed rubber band through that little screw hole which is a bit small right I have to do that This might be the main problem. I don't really want to have to drill them out, but I might have to. Or I might have to find some thinner rubber bands. I was just going to say it might pay to cut them in half, and that one's pretty well split anyway. How many do we need? Two, I should think. The one might do it. But how on earth are we going to get that through the other one?
How about a bit of lubrication? It might go through. I'll put use a bit of um, washing up liquid, see if that helps. Yeah, that helped. Just a little bit of washing up liquids made it a bit more slippery. Well, that one's going to break, but I don't. You know, I don't think that matter. I can tie a knot in it. I'll put a bit of um, lubrication on this one too. Right, we need to stop them slipping back through. So a couple of bits of barbecue skewer, I think. Let's see if I've got some short ones in my stock. Try not to throw stuff away. I'll do. So that's going to go in there. If I made that a bit shorter, it'll actually go into in between the spokes there. Help it grip. Shorten that one as well. Okay. Now we've got to get them through there and join them together. Somewhere I've got a bit of wire that I can poke through there. To there, pull it right the way through. And this is where we've got to get a bit clever. Keep, keep hold of that, get hold of that one, push it through, back all the way over itself. So, we should be able to wind it up, hold one still, wind the other one up. You might need to add a bit of lubrication again to make sure they spin freely. Oh, 
I reckon that's going to work. But I might just put a little bit more lubrication on there to make sure it does spin. That one's going all right. Well, that works. I can't think of any purpose for it, but it works. So, wheels off of a radio controlled car, but on the previous version I just made them out of card. Uh, plastic tube, didn't need to put any special bearings on it, because I just put some washing up liquid as lubricant, so they spin easily, straight on the ends. Wind it up. No idea how many turns. And let it go. Well, that was a fun little project, that, and non-destructive. In other words, I can put these wheels back where they came from. If I can unwind the rubber band enough. Because I could just cut the rubber band. Come on, unwind. There we go. Same with that one. Clearly I'll have to replace the wires on here sometime or other. Next time I want to use it. Nothing to do with this little project. But clearly I've overheated that Sure, they're not touching. Yep, yeah. so back in one piece. <laughs>